We've simplified the review process for Smart Home Actions with the Test Suite for Smart Home, a self-service utility to verify that your Smart Home Action meets all the necessary criteria before you submit for review. In today's AOG Pro Tip, we'll learn how to get the most out of the test suite to ensure your test runs are successful and your review process is quick. Test Suite for Smart Home determines the devices your service supports from HomeGraph. To begin a test run, you must have devices already synced to your test account. For each device type reported, the test suite sends voice commands from your computer to a nearby Google Home or Nest device. Give your devices clear names that the assistant can easily pronounce when converting from text to speech. Do not include symbols such as numbers in your device names. Make sure that your test environment is free of background noise. Consider using headphones to focus that sound directly on the assistant device microphones. After your cloud service executes each command, you must update HomeGraph through the Report State API. The test suite verifies the result by sending a query to HomeGraph to look for the expected state. It does not verify the execute response or send a query intent to determine success. Make sure to update HomeGraph after each command, otherwise the test will fail. Another common source of failures is invalid or missing initial state in HomeGraph. Call report state after any sync intent to ensure that HomeGraph has the correct initial state for all devices. Finally, keep in mind that devices with will report state set to false are skipped, and your test results will be incomplete. The test suite cannot verify devices which do not report state. For more pro tips like this, be sure to check out the rest of our videos and share your thoughts with us on Twitter using the hashtag AOGProTips. Thanks for watching.